Hello everybody and welcome to the first tutorial in the all free VFX series. In this series I'm going to show how to make some VFX shots for free. Sounds good, huh? Well in this one I'm going to show you how to make a virtual character placed in a real scene. So let's say I have this scene which I recorded in my basement with a normal nothing fancy DV camera and what we're going to do is we're going to put a virtual character into it. So we're going to put a robot driving around on top of the piano. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to motion track this footage. Now don't let that scare you away, it's actually not as fancy as it sounds. Basically what it means is making a virtual camera make the same motion as the real camera. Or in other words, if we put the robot into this um, picture, as this camera zooms in and pans, the robot would still stay in the middle of the frame. And that's the way we want. We want the robot to be in the same place as everything else is in the scene, except for the motion that we animate. So what we need to do is we need to make the virtual camera in Blender make the same motion as the camera I put in my basement. So this camera is going to be flying around or uh, rotating to make the same motions that I had with my camera that I took to the basement. So what we need to do is we need to open up Voodoo. Now, before we do that though, Voodoo wants frames. It does not want vid AVI video. It wants each frame individually. So it wants frame 0001.jpg, frame 0002.jpg. So to take this AVI video that I have and make it into frames, I'm going to use FFmpeg, which is free. To install FFmpeg, you can do this by doing sudo apt-get install ffmpeg in Ubuntu, or Linux for that matter. Or you can go into Synaptic Package Manager, download it, however else you'd like. And once you're there, go into your working directory, which for me is cd desktop slash tutorial. And I can't spell the type today. Now, that takes us into this folder. And in here we have track underscore tut dot avi. So to use ffmpeg, you do ffmpeg space hyphen i, which basically means launch ffmpeg, and then put the name of your video, t r a c k underscore t u t dot avi space in the output. So like I said, we want frame zero 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 one dot jpg. So we're going to put frame, and then to have the numbers that are going to increase by 1, so that Voodoo knows what sequence the frames are in, we're going to go percent, 0, 04, D, and then the file type is going to be JPG. So this is going to take the uh, video track underscore touch dot AVI, use FFmpeg to make it frame, 0, 0, 001 dot JPG, etc. So we say go, and it turns away. Now you'll notice once it's done, we go into the folder where the video was, and here we go. We have a whole bunch of different frames here. So this is the first frame, the second frame, the third frame of the video. So it broke it down, and here's the original video, and there was 1,074 frames. So now we're ready for Voodoo. So I'm going to open up Voodoo here. And I'm going to open the sequence. So go to the folder and select the first frame. The type is going to be JPEG. And Voodoo's gone ahead and look, it says 0001.jpg or whatever other numbers are there. For I have interlaced and there is 1074 frames. And then this is rotation, which is camera on a tripod, and this is free move. We have a camera on a tripod, but if you want to make a video with free move and you know what you're doing, that means um, you can take your camera and walk around with it, and try to have a very steady shot. I'll go into tutorial about how to do that later. You can use this, and uh, you might have to do quite a bit more tweaking. This is simpler; uh, it doesn't take as long to run the algorithm on the frame. And that's what we need for now. So we'll say open. And then Voodoo shows us the frame. We can play 
if we can scrub through it. Here shows you what frame you're on and all the other stuff that we need to know is what frame we're starting on, what frame we're ending on and here's the track button. This is what we're going to do to motion track this frame or this video. But before we do that we need to go over to load and then initial camera and select your kind of your type of camera. I have a um, NTSC and it was a DV camera with a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. It said it should be 1.33333 uh, 1.35 is close enough for me. However, it's better if you can go through and change it. But in, in the end, it doesn't really matter that much, as long as it's close enough. However, it does make a big difference if this number is like five, then you have some issues. So press OK, and now we'll press track. So now you can see it has feature points. All these plus signs indicate a feature point that Voodoo thinks it can track. So for example, up here at the corner of the piano, or over here rather, it thinks it can track that throughout the frames. And so let's put a mark on that, and then as it gets to frames, it'll say, okay, now where is that now? In the next frame, where is that now? And as you see, as we're playing through the video, all these marks are staying in the same position relative to the rest of the scene. And this is what we want. Now there's some red and white and green plus sign and we want them all to be green the red ones are the failed tracks and we're gonna go through and we're gonna add some manual tracks to help it along but not yet that comes in the next tutorial and so that's gonna conclude this as it's gonna take a little bit of time you can download this video I'm gonna put a link up in YouTube event and so happy blending or voodooing or whatever else you want to use and I'll see you next time on all free VFX